Yeah, just remember, Emma, keep your text above because I ain't about to read the goddamn voice lines. Got it. That's where they're gonna put this shit at the bottom again. It's gonna be at the bottom. Fuck! <laughs> Fucking trip, man. I gotta take my shirt off because it's fucking hot in this bitch, too. Can't even run the fucking air conditioner because they ended up picking that shit up in the background. Oh, fuck. <sighs> shit. Wasting my fucking money on this shit. Fucking trip, man. I'm ready to go live for some shit. It's always a goddamn problem. I ain't pissed off, man. I need to calm myself before I get start this video pissed off. Man, fuck. Okay, do I got every fucking thing ready? I'm, I'm saying, man, I hate this. This is why I don't make a video every goddamn day, man. It's always some fucking problems in the middle of the fucking week. Fuck. Man, Tifa, play Woven by Fate. Tifa, play Woven by Fate. This bit. Uh, I swear she does it one more fucking time. Tifa, play Woven by Fate. It took this bitch all fucking day to play that goddamn song, guys. Man, I swear. Let me get rid of this fucking thing. Alright, we happy. We good. We good. We good, we in here. Ooh, what's going on guys? It is your boy Fang and I am back for another video. Today, we are here to give you guys episode three of Fang Plays Trails of Cold Steel, AKA Sino Kaseki Cold Steel, guys, that's right. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, get yourselves caught up. Cause we're about to get into some more shit we got down with the Celtic mission. I ain't gonna lie. After we got like three hours into that bitch, I was ready to go to sleep, bro. <laughs> but god damn, they need to do more voice acting for this shit, man. I gotta read all the voice lines myself, man. Fuck. <laughs> Woo! It's in there though, it's in there. Is it Miss, I'll tell you, somebody's about to fucking leave me a I swear it's coming. I know it's coming. Where's the stray at, yeah, fam? Where's the stray? We ain't about to do it. We ain't about to do every single intro about the stray. You already know what it is. Yes, yeah, stray is coming. It ain't coming today either. So stop fucking crying about the goddamn shit. Always talking about me playing the damn guy, goddamn cat. I'm tired of wasting intros talking about the goddamn strip. What about Resident Evil 6? Do you not want to see Resident Evil 6? What about the one motherfucker over there that still wants to see Gears of War fucking 5? Yes. <laughs> And then this bitch ain't gonna play Gears of War 5. I guess I go somewhere else. <laughs> I don't forgot about Gears of War 5. I ain't got time to play that bullshit, man. Goddamn. I still gotta get the Sherry's playthrough, man. Anyway, if you haven't seen it already, yes, I gotta say it again. Another intro wasted on this bullshit. Yes, if you haven't seen Fame Plays, AI, The Somnium Files, this is the advertiser for that shit. That's right. Go to my playlist, go to the story driven bullshit was story-driven games, but story-driven bullshit, aka they're all the same fucking thing. It says story-driven on the fucking playlist. Go to story-driven games, you're a fine, fame plays, AI, the Somnium, Files, episodes one through three. Get yourselves caught up because episode four is coming. Me and your boy Dante, Boss, Mizuki, my girl Iba, Pewter, What's his name? Pewter? Pewter? P Whatever the fuck his name is. Get yourselves caught up, bro, because we're going back into that shit. Gotta solve the goddamn crimes and solve mysteries and all that bullshit. It's funny. It's goofy as hell. It's some good comedy relief for your boy. Anyway, guys. We just got back from Kelda, so let's see what else is ready to happen with my boy Reed in class 7. Now, hopefully I don't sweat it. Because if I get ready to sweat again, I'm going to end this video right, right the fuck now. You know what? As a matter of fact, give me a goddamn water. I'm going to be here for fucking 7 hours today. The first episode was an hour and a half. The second episode was almost four fucking hours. We gotta top that. 
Next episode is about to be goddamn fucking seven hours long. And somebody thought I was. <laughs> is it really gonna be seven hours long, thing? I don't know, bro. And we might be here for seven hours, man. It's... Look at the camera. If you see me over here in the bottom right hand corner sweating, <laughs> gasping for air and shit, <laughs> that's when you know I'm gonna end the fucking video. <laughs> Song, I really do. What was my fate? Miss Sue, I know you like the fucking song too. What was my fate, right? I, I know, I know. <laughs> How do I do this shit with my head? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Stop the goddamn video, guys. All right, we back in here, right where we left off. Yes, sir. I got snacks. I got everything in here, man. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be here for a long time. I got snacks this time, guys. I need to get off me. Long guys fucking episode. Late May. The lino flowers that painted Trista's spring fields had faded, replaced by lush greenery and a refreshing breeze. With the trials of last month's field study behind us, we found ourselves caught up once more in the bustle of school life. Fucking hot! <laughs> Both our combat training and academic studies continued to become more and more demanding. Keep on talking, Ray. You narrate this shit. But May also heralded the beginning of specialist classes, more befitting a military academy. What is it, uh, what you call that milk bang shit? It's like that goddamn milk bang, bro. <laughs> The Orbital Revolution 50 years ago changed the way wars were fought forever. There are a number of reasons for this fundamental change, but four factors in particular that I would argue to be the most important. The first is the invention of Orbital guns, cannons, and other weaponry. The increased accuracy of these weapons, as well as their ease of maintenance and manufacture, instantly rendered all other firearms obsolete. The second factor is the associated mechanization of the military. Orbital technology led to the formation of armored divisions made up of tanks and armored cars. The impact this new kind of tactical unit had on the battlefield, with its enhanced offense, defense, and mobility, cannot be overstated. The third factor is the invention of airships. Warships that rely on the gravity manipulation ability of a flight field to remain in the air simply did not exist before the revolution. The sudden addition of a whole new dimension to war, the sky, made countless new strategies viable that were previously unimaginable. And the last factor is the creation of an entirely new practical science, which may be the biggest, most important change of all. Without orbital technology, such a concept would scarcely even have been conceivable. But now, we'd be virtually crippled without it. Reen Schwarzer, can you tell the class what that new scientific breakthrough was? Oh yeah, sure, I know the answer. Something only possible after the orbital revolution, which revolutionized warfare. That would have to be... Nigga, I don't know, Brad! Um, oh sh... Isn't it orbital communication? Everybody's looking at me! Emma, Laura, Alyssa, get off me! I don't... Guys, do you know the answer, Brad? <laughs> I don't know the fucking answer. Why are they picking on me? The tr uh, Oh sh... <laughs> uh, instructor, it's gonna be orbit communication. Yes! I got it! Y'all need to get off me, guys! Let's part! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Your boy got some knowledge, bro! <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Woo! I got that answer so good, man. God damn, I, I, I took away his voice actor. He ain't talking no more. <laughs> Shit. I got it right, baby! I appreciate it, Alyssa. Thank you. 
Yeah, I know. Or a communication, though. <laughs> Alyssa. Yeah, we're gonna have to work really hard to keep up. Damn, got that shit right. <laughs> Damn. Oh, y'all cooking? Okay. Why did Lady Laura have to be placed in a class like that? I was truly looking forward to studying alongside her. Is that girl next to her not the one who scored the highest on the entrance exam? I believe so, though I also hear she's a mere commoner. There's something about that silvered hair girl that I find oddly soothing. I wonder if she'd let me stroke her hair if I were to ask nicely. That's quite enough idle chatter. We are members of class one. We are above such droll behavior. As well, we cannot allow ourselves to be bettered by that rabble, even in something as insignificant as the culinary arts. Of course not. Accustomed to our chef doing all of the cooking, however, that I must admit, I'm finding this all rather challenging. Could they make it a little less obvious they're talking about us? I mean, seriously. It stands to reason they'd be curious about our class. It's hard to blame them for that, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've whisked that plenty already. <laughs> Whisking the fuck out of that batter, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of using a normal computer. Uh, can the teacher really smoke in here? Damn. Okay. What kind of school y'all go to where they can just smoke? Likewise. I was lost at first, but it's slowly beginning to make more sense. Well, it is cutting-edge technology here in Erebonia, so I think most people are confused until they've gotten used to it. Machius and Eusis both picked it up surprisingly quickly, though. Yeah, but academics are their thing. And I'm pretty sure Machius has been interested in computers for a while, too. Eusis also seems to get the hang of things far quicker than most people, even if he's not interested in them at all. Which probably just adds insult to injury for Machius. I'll bet. I hear they were really butting heads during last month's field study. Yeah, how'd that go? They were. At one point, things almost took a violent turn. We were able to hold them back, but I don't think we could have kept them under control for long if Instructor Sarah hadn't arrived. <sighs> we really need to do something about them, but I have no idea what. I don't either, but you're right. This has gone on for way too long as it is. It needs to stop. Rain Schwarzer. <sighs> huh? Isn't he from class one? Alright guys, I can't do anything about all that fucking butt chattering outside. Sorry about that. Patrick, is it? That is correct. Now what does this asshole want with me? My full name is Patrick T. Hyams. I don't believe I need to say anything more than that. Yeah, Hyams family, fuck you. Which motherfucker? What? So, you're from the Hyams family. Are they prestigious? About as prestigious as they come. The High Armsies are one of the four great houses. But they're under Eusis, though. Though they're slightly lower in rank than the Albareus. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I meant no offense. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I didn't come here to talk to commoners or foreigners. I came to bring gladsome tidings to you, Reen Schwarzer. I am generously extending you welcome to make use of the accommodations on the third floor of the Student Union building. You mean... the third floor? That's where the noble salon is, right? Your father may be a mere baron, but that still makes you a noble. And though you've had the misfortune of sharing a class with this... riffraff, I have decided to use my good name as a member of the High Arms family to afford you the privilege of joining us. I do hope you appreciate it. Well, how can I turn him down politely? This hardly strikes me as the best place to be recruiting new members. Eusis? Uh, Eusis Salberea? I wasn't aware the third son of the High Arms family counted playing factions among his hobbies. If you wished for company in the salon, should you not have come to me first? You? 
You've been invited countless times. You, you simply choose not to come. Despite there being no shortage of second years practically begging for your company. I have no interest. Hm. Suit yourself, then. But you, Schwarzer, make sure you think long and hard about this. If you care about your future, you need to start thinking about the connections you're making and the sides you're taking. <sighs> he's certainly not shy. No, he's not. I wasn't sure how to turn him down, either. Thanks for stepping in, Yusis. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so... No. That's all. Last month's field study? Is he...? Yeah. I think he means the run-in we had with the Provincial Army. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ah, so he feels partially responsible for his family's actions then. He must have been looking for a way to apologize to you. Huh. I guess he has a nice side after all. Oh uh, yeah, Machias must know we're a noble now. Is that all you care about? All rise, bow. Well, I'll see you later, Reen. Right later. later. Oh, are you two going to club activities today? Yeah, I am. Did you want to have dinner together later? We've been eating in the cafeteria an awful lot lately, so maybe we could go to the cafe in Trista today for a change of scenery? Sounds good to me. You want to just meet up in the entrance hall later? Sure. See you then. Um... Alyssa? Oh, hi, Elisa. Are you off to club practice, too? Oh, <laughs> no. Not today. Um... What is it? Is there something you wanted to ask me? I... it's nothing. I'll see you later. What uh, was that all about? What? <laughs> Did you do something else to upset her? Laura, I didn't do anything! This man a bitch for no reason. Not that I'm aware of. Oh, I suppose it's possible I did something wrong without even realizing it. Knowing her. <laughs> I was speaking in jest, I assure you. Are you planning on going into the old schoolhouse again tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. The principal did ask me to keep an eye on it, so I thought I'd make time for a quick look inside. All right. Please let me know when you're planning to begin the expedition, if you would. Gotcha. I'll bring you along. I have club activities tomorrow, but as far as I'm concerned, the old schoolhouse takes priority. Thanks. I'll let you know. Excellent. I'll see you tomorrow then. You're in the chess club, aren't you, Machius? Or are you planning on studying in the library? <laughs> uh, what's with that attitude, bruh? Since when was it any of your business what I choose to do after class? Machius, you don't wanna you don't wanna step down on this path, brother. Uh, no, I just... Because we can, we can get up. Have I... Fucking nerd. ...done something to upset you? Not especially. It's actually my fault for being deceived so easily in the first place. Dude, bro. Oh. Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. He was a lot about that, though. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. 
I'm really sorry. I wasn't trying to deceive you. I just... Save your breath. Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me. And I simply cannot trust those who lie. Dear sis, get the fuck out of here then, bruh. That's all there is to it. I... Please, think nothing of it. Yeah, and Melinda's ass walk out of here. Oh, um, am I intruding? No, it's nothing, Emma. Just got fucking issues over here, dude. I got issues with Alyssa and now Machias. Oh, no. I'm about to go make friends with Eustace because of this shit. Did you need something? Getting pissed off over because I lied to his ass. I accidentally left one of my textbooks in my desk, so I came back to fetch it. What subject? Take a look. Intermediate mathematics for dummies. Studying hard as always, I see. Except, wait, intermediate? Isn't that part of the Sunday school curriculum? Seems a bit basic for you. Oh, <laughs> it's not for me. I promised to help Fee with her math studies. Oh, okay, that's nice of you. I found this at a bookshop in town and thought it might be of some use to her. Ah, okay. I should really be going. I'm sure she's waiting for me by now. I'll see you later, Reen. Take care. And don't worry. Huh? I'm sure Machias doesn't hate you or anything. If you can find some way of making him realize how you feel, I'm sure he'll understand. It's just getting through to him that might be tough. Yeah. I appreciate the advice, Emma. I'm sure we're all gonna be a unit one day, just not right now. I just have to keep at it. If Emma believes I can make it work, then I'll believe it too. I'll tell you what, me and Maki has got a better chance of making up than fucking human uses, that's for sure. I should probably also get going. Maybe I'll wander around the Academy grounds for a while before returning to the dorm. Or we can just take our ass right back to the dorm. Told you once I start breaking out in a sweat, guys, we ended this goddamn video. I got hydration over here, I got a lot of shit. <laughs> shit, I ain't fucking around today. About to pass the fuck out last week. Alright, we're gonna head straight to the dorm. Let me leave, bruh! <laughs> Let me change. Yes. Fuck, why is it not the first option? Come on, game! Let me hit the goddamn arrow button, bruh. Hey there, first year. I know that voice. Still my 50 mirror. Oh, it's you. I'm not going to play along with your scams this time, so you might as well be on your way. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hustle you before, honest. Did you, uh, figure out how I did it, though? If you really want your 50 mirror back, I'll be happy to hand it over. Pop it up. But wouldn't you rather feel like you earned it? Come on, what do you say? Hmm. There had to have been a trick to it. Some form of sleight of hand. Something that wasn't as it seemed. If I had to guess, I'd say the crux of this illusion was... Oh, you want to give me a choice? Oh, the drawstring bag had a speed. Of course! Pretty sure he had a bag at his feet. He could wear a drop in Which means he threw the coin in the air, but let it fall instead of trying to catch it. And he moved his hands and man that did it. He let it fall right into the open bag, lying in wait for it at your feet. Am I right? Yeah, not bad. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to figure it out so quickly. So I was right. Yep, spot on. And a promise is a promise, so here's your 50 mirror bag. You lost uh, it. sorry. I've only got ten mirror on me. Ugh, it's fine. Just forget it. It's only fifty mirror. You can keep it. Oh, really? Oh, that's mighty generous. Hey, 
Hey! Stop trying to leech money off innocent first years, you louse. Oh crap, it's the she-devil. What? Oh, she got a bike. A bicycle? No, it looks like it's powered by horrible energy. Wait, I've seen this girl somewhere before. Yurene, I take it. I've been hearing all about you from Toa and George. Sounds like you pulled off some pretty amazing stuff in your field study last month. I'm surprised you know my name, actually. I didn't think I'd been doing anything worthy of such attention. Guess I should still officially introduce myself, though. I'm Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. Same. I'm Angelica. Angelica Rogner. Glad I could finally make your acquaintance. Rogner? As in... Marquis Rogner? Head of one of the four great houses? <laughs> Same reaction every time, I swear. Yeah, I'm his unworthy daughter. But he doesn't really want to have anything to do with me since I go around dressed like this. Uh, I think it's less how you dress and more how you behave. Where are you going on that bike at this hour anyway? Oh! George finally finished tuning the Orville engine, so I figured I'd give it a run to the capital and back and see how it holds up. <sighs> sure must be nice not to have a care in the world. <laughs> Look who's talking. So you do ride it like a bike. Wow. <laughs> well, catch you later. I'm thinking of putting in a request for you sometime. If I do, I'd sure appreciate a swift response. I <laughs> lost for words. That's a little something George put together a while back. He calls it an orbital bike. Pretty cool, huh? It is. It's kind of like a steel horse. I'm guessing you can't buy those in any shops? Nah. The Ruhr Institute of Technology started putting that one together as part of a test. Then George finished it off. Jellica put up the money for the parts herself. Oh, but Toa and I helped out too. Sounds like it must have been a pretty challenging project. Are you on good terms with Toa and George then? Angelica said she'd heard all about me from them. Maybe you had a little something to do with that too? Well, we're all from different classes, but we've kind of stuck together for a while now. Come to think of it, I never did introduce myself, did I? You did not. <clears throat> Name's Crow Armbreast, second year, class five. I'm sure I'll catch you around again. Later. All right, Crow. So, his name's Crow, huh? Angelica's the daughter of Marquis Rodner, Toa's the student council president, George is head of the engineering club. It seems like every second year I meet is somebody important. It does seem like that. Alright, chapter two. Alright, yeah, we're gonna stay in my room. Do we really need to do anything in the dorm room? Yeah, stay in your fucking room, bro. Be good. We chillin', we chillin'. Don't need that down side quest bullshit. I probably would have did it if it was voice dialogue, but it's not it's not voice, so I'm gonna try to read more than I fucking have to. Alright, you gotta do that coming up right now, guys. Do all the fucking reading for this one. Okay. You only got one required quest, we're gonna go straight to the old school house. I like it. Old school house request is the same deal as last month. I've still got the key, so I can go in whenever I'm ready, but there's no telling how long it's going to take, so I should finish up everything else first. Alright, let's get started. Alright, we got four bomb points. Who are we talking to? We got Sarah, the instructor on the third floor. I'm gonna go see what her drink ass is up to this time. Sarah. What's she doing? What's she doing? 
Green bean! Knowing her, she's probably ready to leap into action if anything serious were to come up, though. This might be a good chance to ask her about some things that normally could. I don't see how that has any relation to me being a student. Oh well, I guess this is as good a chance as any. I'll go get myself something to drink. Fine, fine. Instructor, why do you gotta put your text right by my goddamn. I ain't moving myself, guys. I'm gonna fuck this shit. You guys can see most of the shit. God damn it, I gotta read it. That's what I like to see. Building up experience and making memories is exactly what you saw about. God damn it, Sarah, move! Put your text above! God damn, now I gotta do both the fucking lines, man. I don't wanna hear it, not from the person that pushed me into it in the first place, anyway. Especially since I've had a lot on my mind lately, regardless. So this is about Machias, huh? Was it that obvious? Well, you don't exactly have a poker face. Have you figured out a way to make up with them yet? I wish. If I'd been completely honest with them to begin with, none of this would have happened. So it's all my fault. But still, ah, I remember when I had such a simple, youth, youthful words. That's one way to brush me off. Well, the way I see it, your best bet would be just focusing on helping the student council out for today. Helping other people out with their worries helps you develop as a person and figure out how to take care of your own. Really? Of course, you need to take each and every request seriously and not just see them as boxes on a checklist. Listen carefully to what a client says and figuring out what they really want from that is a key part of the job. After all, people tend not to say what's really on their mind. You have to listen for it. Hey, what's with that look? I'm just surprised that you gave such a helpful, on-point reply. Can I ask what you did before you became an instructor? Well... Hell, let's just put it this way. I've got a lot of experience. More than enough to give you youngins helpful advice whenever you need it. That would be a bit more credible if you weren't completely drunk. Lucid enough to dodge the question, though. <laughs> Either way, I'm your homeroom teacher. I'll always help you out if you really need me. For now, though, just focus on what you've got to do. I suppose you're right. Well, it's not every day she gives good advice. I might as well take it while I can and focus on helping the student council. Sarah took a swig of the beer sitting on the table. Ah, that's the stuff. I can't. I can take her advice, right? I swear if this next one puts their text at the goddamn bottom where I am, I'm gonna be a pissed off motherfucker, I swear. I dare you, put 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 it at the bottom again. And I'm about to be moving myself up and down just because they wanna put text all over the fucking place. Either the side, up or bottom. I'll take the camera off and just fucking do voiceover of this fucking bullshit. I ain't playing. Now you got the bookstore and the cafe. All right, Emma. Put your text at the top. I do owe her one after she cheered me up yesterday, and maybe I can help her out. How about I help you all then? Yup, just remember Emma, keep your text above because I ain't about to read the goddamn voice lines. Got it. I swear they're going to put this shit at the bottom again. It's going to be at the bottom. And we back in here, man. Had to move myself all the way on the other side. Cause I keep putting the text here, then it's here, it's here, it's here. Like, man, make up your goddamn mind, guys. I told you I'm about to do, I'm only doing the voice after the ring, guys. 
Oh, it's goddamn parking, man. Y'all give me a goddamn break. I'm about to nest the fuck out of this shit. Alright, I lost my goddamn breath twice to make a video. And it's more bullshit now. Why don't you just skip the thing? I can't skip this shit because you need to see this. This is how the characters, this is the character development through these fucking little bond events, guys. You got I can't skip it. You need to see it. I know it's non-voiced. But you need to see it because this is how you get into tune with the characters. You find out more about what the, what the main story doesn't show you. So yes, we gotta look at this shit. It's important, bro. Lucky I'm not just talking to the NPCs because the NPCs are important too. You gotta talk to everybody. But we'll be here all fucking day talking to the NPCs three, four, or five times. So we go to the next goddamn story event. Now when we get into the new shit coming out next year, we are you are gonna see me do all that shit, okay? We're gonna do everything on goddamn fucking first try, camera, whatever you fucking want to call it. Let me get back to voice acting for this motherfucker. Oh, what about that book over there? That might work. Oops, sorry about that. Got that done. All right, we got Crow in the cafe. Enjoying a little tea and peace and quiet today, Crow. I get the feeling you've done the same thing at least a couple of times. I wonder who he's waiting for. It doesn't seem like a girl, at least. I don't think. Mind if I join you, girl? Join in? What was this man talking about? This isn't what I was expecting, it's a bunch of kids. Okay, they're playing Blade. I'm a Blade Master, guys. I am a Blade Master, Crow. Oh, so that's the deck I got from Mick. So it was Crow's deck that Mick gave me. You're betting with kids? You can't seriously be making children gamble, Crow! How does Candy make it okay again? But it's still kind of sad to bet against kids. Aren't you technically an adult now? Like Crow's the only one losing anything here. I guess I could play a few rounds though. Re and Van joined the fun and enjoyed a few games of play with everyone while kicking everybody else's ass because he's a veteran at this shit. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead to the old schoolhouse. Okay, so yeah, we don't got anybody, right? Oh. We got Gaius upstairs in the art room. Almost missed one, guys. Gotta get Gaius in his art. 
Is that the first door or the second door? Right here. Where's Gaius at? What's up, Para? I know the guys ain't gonna know you because they're talking to the NPCs. They don't know who you are, though. Para? I know, Para. I know you're scoped and all that bullshit. I know. I got you trying to hear the statue's voice. There you go. There's Para NPC because she's gonna come up later in another game. Now you guys know who the fuck Para is. What's going on? You're the twin, right? Linda? Where's your twin at? I got you, I got you. Man, I need to talk to the NPCs for you guys so you guys know what the fuck everybody is. You guys don't know anybody, I'm sorry. What's up, guys? Did I interrupt you? Sounds like you've been working hard at least. I kinda wanna see what he's like when he's drawing. Would it be okay if I stayed a while and watched him draw, guys? I got some artist experience, but I don't know if you want it or not, though. You're probably better than my ass. I'm a drone since I was in high school, dude. That is quite the elaborate drawing. Even though I think it looks pretty great already. You used to draw back home, right? How so? Hundredth? That's a lot. I don't know if I have the patience to sit down and do that many sketches. Isn't it kind of a pain? Now it seems like it might be a good time to ask, where are you from? We already know this ring! He's from the North Highlands, bro! You did mention it when you first met! You said he was a foreigner from North. I ain't tripping, guys! You already said that! But that that's a, that's a fucking typo, bro. We already know this shit from episode one, bruh! Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to read in the lines, guys. I'm sorry, I'm fucking spaced out. Hopefully I get the chance to ask him sometime. No, sorry, just spacing out like you. I just want to say I was spacing out. I'm sorry, Reed, I forgot to read your line, brother. Damn, dude. Just do your own fucking voice lines, man. I really like to see your painting when it's done. I gotta sit here and read all this shit. Reading a goddamn book. I hate reading, guys. You know that. All right, I'd rather read notes than a fucking Resident Evil game, and I hate doing that shit. Uh, old school health. I know Laura wanted us to invite her, so we gotta invite Laura at least. Get to that old exploration. I've got the key so I can start exploring the underground ruins whenever I'm ready, but there's no telling what I'll find in here. I better finish all my other tasks first. Was there anything else I still needed to do? Nope. Entry in this place doesn't get any less scary no matter how many times I do it. Time to try calling anyone I can cut on to back me up. Yeah, especially with the principal himself asking us to keep exploring it. I just have to take things nice and slow. And I'm counting on you guys for backup. Yeah, I think you're in for quite a surprise. Come on, let's go. It's probably going to be different as soon as we walk in here, too. 
Are y'all still equipped with all your shit? Okay, I just want to make sure because I don't want to walk in here and then the guys be like unequipped or something. Guys is unequipped. It's okay, we'll re really, really equip him when we need to. We ain't gonna use his ass anyway, he's fine. It's the only annoying thing about the first game is that they remove all your shit every time. What the? Yeah, that wasn't there before. That's different. It's different from the last time I was here, Alyssa. It wasn't here before. I mean, we don't know either. That wasn't there last month. None of this was. Director Sarah said she was going to investigate the ruins in her spare time as well. But she didn't mention anything like this, so that means it must have just appeared. Well, standing around is getting us anywhere. Let's go and get a closer look at that pedestal. Elevator, huh? Wonder if that means we can use this to go deeper underground. Okay. So then we got access to the second floor. The rest of the floor is a lock that seems to suggest someone is trying to stop us or anyone from getting to them. But who would do that and why? Yeah, we should definitely do it. Second floor, here we go. None of this was here last month, was it? That door sure looks like the one we saw last time, though. And that means we can probably expect more monsters behind it. True, but the five of us shouldn't have any problems making good use of combat links, at least. You ready to get started? Alright, stay with me guys. I told you I'm a veteran at this shit for a reason, so let's go. Onward! We got it, Laura! I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, fuck it. Got this shit on the highest difficulty and it's still a fucking just one shot everything in this bitch. Are we gonna see a challenge, fam? Yeah, we're gonna see a challenge when we get to Cold Steel 4, bro! <laughs> Shoot, just enjoy the goddamn story. Sit back and relax. We ain't dying to shit in this goddamn game. Now you're gonna see my ass get close to fucking dying. You might not even see the animation on the goddamn boss go off, bruh. Do this shit from a fucking scratch, man. You fucking tripping. Boss, your goddamn mind, do this shit from scratch. I ain't doing all this bullshit again. We'll be here even longer than we already are. I uh, run around and actually fucking do like minimum damage to all the enemies, man. Fuck all that shit. Should be in here for a reason. You should beef out characters, man. Trying to get to this shit as fast as possible for you guys. Motherfucker complaining about fucking dying on one day. Motherfucker, if you really care about that much, you'll play the goddamn game yourself, bro. Yeah, you, why are you running away, bro? Can you take this hit? Maybe you have to 
stairs waiting down. I'm trying to get lost in a goddamn but That's gonna be the real challenge of this game is the puzzle. Woo, bro! I told you don't want none of this. Okay, that's where. Oh, no, that's. Wait a minute. Okay, then this is where I started, right? I think it's where I started. We're not lost. We're good. We're good. I score dungeons all the time, my free time. Okay, that's definitely going in the circle. Where's those steps at? Will you move up to the chest? Man, screw that chest and chest. Elliot, yeah, don't need it. Where do I go, bruh? Man, this game ain't that goddamn hard. Just where's the freaking... That was the entrance, right? Got the steps, no spider. I ain't got time for you. I'm trying to find the freaking escalator. Okay. Or maybe this was it. Is that switch above us? Oh, this is it. Maybe right. Nope. That's the best four too. So where do I go? I can't look at a map. Oh my god, guys, that's... Right. Man, I didn't want to switch. Where's the fucking map, bro? Guys, I can't bring up the map. Oh, we're lost. We're lost. Found it. Found it. Oh my god. I'm just about to run end. around this whole motherfucker. I don't do stuff like this every day. Watch out. This is a tough one. My turn. All right, let's do this. Yeah, okay. Right. Turn to flames! Burn! My turn. No escape! Yeah! One shot for more. Yeah, it was all thanks to Laura that we won. thinking about last month. This is exactly the same as what happened then. A new area opens up. If we reach the end of it, we find a powerful enemy and then hit a dead end. The situation is identical. You might be right. It just trusts me as odd, that's all. Either way, we've explored all we can for now. So come on, let's head back outside. Okay. Using the teleporters. So you guys are kind of used to the flow of things now. It's just going to be a repeat of this with a field study. So that's how this is going to work. Oh, was well, we already back at the? 
Edward. Okay, whoops. Okay, I'll make sure I wasn't tripping, guys. That elevator is the biggest conundrum, though. Where could it possibly have come from? We should report our findings to the principal right away. There's a stray. Number four is even deeper underground too, but only the first two were accessible. must have caused the new areas to show themselves, but I don't have the slightest idea what that something could be. You wouldn't happen to have any ideas, would you, sir? That's as good as there is any. But does the promised day, what does it refer to? If we discover anything else, we'll let you know at once, sir. Thanks for the help, everyone. Thanks. I'm sure I'll take you up on that. So we got two additional bonded points. We got Miss Fifi on the second floor, and this is in the library. So see what he uses is up to. Instructor Thomas. Yes, it is. Someone gave it to me earlier. Why do you ask, Instructor? Sorry, did you say your research? Dare I ask why? I 
see, that's certainly a unique field of study. He didn't even give me a chance to say now. Oh well, might as well help him out. All it could hurt is his stomach. Alright, Yusus. Hey there, Yusus. I've noticed I see you here pretty often. You're supposed to be a pretty avid reader, huh? Oh. I don't really get a chance like this too often. I should hang out with him. Would you mind if I joined you? Well then, I hope you don't mind my company. What is it that you're reading, anyway? There are certainly no shortage of those, is there? I've heard stories about witches, spirits, and even vampires. Hold on, are you into those kind of stories too, Yusus? I see. Maybe I should take a look at some of those. what it's like to be famous. <laughs> that was a good one, Jesus. Fair point. I should start acting like a noble, huh? Maybe I can stand learning a lesson or two for me about nobility. You're right, I can't. I respect that. I respect that. Word with pride. You know what? Well, I ain't gonna lie, you. Since I see why you hate that dude, man. He's, he's kind of an asshole. I don't hate Machias, but he, he has been a dick right now. Yusus. Was he just trying to cheer me up? Thanks, Yusus. I told you, Yusus is a cool guy, actually, deep on the inside. He's just an asshole towards Machias. He's good with everybody else. All right, we got Fee on the second floor. She's probably sleeping, knowing her. You ain't gonna shortcut, Fee? No, I ain't gonna shortcut all the time, bro. We can walk over there. We can walk to the second floor, guys. Can't just teleport all over the place. You guys want to see? Ooh, Margarita. Mesmerize, huh? You need to lower the fucking lipstick. God damn, girl. Shit. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shit. God damn. Okay. What? Found Fee. What are you doing over here, Fee Fee? You guess? I can never tell what she's thinking. Maybe I should talk to her a bit more, try to get to know her, maybe? Would you mind if I stuck around here? Uh, B? I meant stuck around with you so we could talk for a while. You don't sound too happy, but you want me to just go away, B? Because I will leave. Or she's about to fucking cut me in my sleep or some shit. So, uh, are you always here at this time of day? Yeah, I do see you napping a lot. So do you, or like naps? <laughs> I agree with you, there ain't nothing to do. Come on, don't be ridiculous though. You don't wanna be like the other kids? There are plenty of things to do here and you won't even get to do some of them when you're older, you know? 
I don't know, they're studying, joining clubs, hanging out with their friends, all sorts of stuff. I don't do any of that bullshit though, Fee, because I'm stuck doing student council, because your boy's a set, Fee. Oh, what club is that? Oh, you know how to go, okay, so you are in a club, okay. When did you join that though? I have to admit, I'm pretty surprised. What sort of things are you growing? Right. Well, if you do end up growing something, I'd love to see it. <laughs> Read! <laughs> well, I don't know about that. This is the way I have with my sister, so maybe that's it. So if I upset you or anything, I try not to be so nosy in the future. Huh? Wait, now? Seriously? Hey, the stairs are the other... She went out the window? Uh, Fee? I'm sure she's fine, dude. She does it all the fucking time. She's good. She a ninja. She a ninja! Konoichi! Is she alright? Jumping now from here without even a scratch is just athletic. It's almost inhuman. Where did she learn to do that? Pretty sure she knows a lot of shit, or y'all know. Alright, let's head back to that dorm. Is that a bell? Stray! Stray! Meow! 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 Where's your backpack at though? And your purple? Aren't you supposed to be like orange? Stray! Farlene! My haven't you got love that fur! Who's your master, I wonder? Go over here, kitty kitty! Can I pet you? Meow. Meow. Good kitty. Well, she's got a ribbon, so she's definitely not a stray. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Y'all gotta get off me, guys! I told you, welcome to episode three of the stray, guys, right here! <laughs> the cat transformed into a purple cat. Let me just mm. pet you. Oh, oh, does that feel good? You got really pretty fur. Such a pretty girl or cat. Actually, are you male or female? I just been assuming female, but are you a fucking male? Oh! Oh, bruh! What the f- Man, must be a fucking female! <laughs> I think he fucked up, man. She's a female. <laughs> she got real pissed when I said she was a guy. <laughs> Damn. I guess I pushed my luck, bro. I don't think she scratched me too deep, but I should still pause the appointment when I get back to the door just in case. <laughs> Next time I don't assume somebody's gender, Rain. <laughs> I wonder what her name is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, yeah, 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 how you doing? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Evening. Did you just get back too? Yeah, I was busy with club-related work until just now. I'm glad I ran into you though. What's up? I heard from Elisa that you went into the old schoolhouse again? Yeah, you want to come next time? Yeah, we made some pretty crazy discoveries while we were at it. Sorry about that siren, guys. I can't do anything. Can't help it. We're going to I'll need to keep right. investigating that place on a regular basis, I'd say. Well, I'd be more than happy to accompany you next time. The request was made to the whole of Class 7, after all, 
And I'd like to do everything I can to help. Yeah, sure, you can come on in. Really? That's very kind. Thank you. Maybe I should ask Fee next time, too. And Eusis and Machius while I'm at it. Yeah, they're not going to want to come, Rain. You already know that. Huh? Fee Remember Eusis, he's okay. At least. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to accompany us. Or more than willing, anyway. Yeah, she's not napping. As for Eusis and Machius, I'm sure a chance will present itself for them to make friends eventually. Maybe then? But it's never going to happen, Emma. We know those two ain't going to make up. One can only hope. We really have to do something about those two already. Oh my! Reen! What What's happened up? to your right hand? Oh, my cat just fucking scratched the fuck out of me, Emma! Oh, this? I assumed it's gender, I'm sorry. A beautiful lady I ran into in town did it. Or at least I think she was a lady. Definitely a lady, because she got pissed. Come again? A black cat with really glossy fur. I've never seen it around before. I assume it belongs to someone in town, since it was wearing a blue ribbon and a bell. I must have done something to offend it, though, because it got all grumpy out of nowhere and scratched me up pretty good. I'm so sorry. What? Please, um, sit down on the sofa. Uh, why? I'll bring a first aid kit and dress that wound right away. It's just a flesh wound, it's fine. S thanks. Do you know it or something? Uh, no, not at all. I've just seen it around town a few times. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'll go get the first aid kit. Don't go anywhere. Thanks. It's just a little scratch. I don't know why she's making such a big deal out of it. I've never seen Emma get so flustered before. Probably Radio Trista. Got some voice acting, hopefully. Mm. There we go. There we go. That should do it. This textbook Emma lent me is really helpful. I might actually be able to get decent grades on next month's midterms thanks to her. Doubt I'll be able to even come close to matching her own grades, though. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so... Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me, and I simply cannot trust those who lie. There's a lot about both Machias and Eusis that we don't know. Maybe in time we can discover something about them that'll help us mend their relationship a little. This seems like a good place to stop for a quick breather. Abend time is about to start anyway. The day is done and it's time to cast off your cares right here. It's the Misty you know and love coming to you live from Radio Trista. Oh, actually, I guess it's already started. Misty's voice is always so soothing. all over Erebonia is beginning to reach its peak. It's the perfect time of year to enjoy nature, and the weather is absolutely perfect for a great hike. Listeners in Heimdall have Modder Park to enjoy with its spectacular glass garden. Though, for those willing to hop on a train, I heartily recommend a trip to Lunaria Nature Park. Administrative issues kept it closed for a while, but it finally reopened this month, and it's worth making the trip. You can relax and take in the scenery of this vast, almost mystical forest, and then grab a cold beer on the way back. I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend, can you? Whoops, with all you students tuning in, maybe I shouldn't recommend boozing it up, should I? You might not be able to grab a cold one just yet, but fresh milk or fruit juice are pretty refreshing in their own way. Maybe some fruit juice, kid. <laughs> Shall we? This first one's from future three-star chef from Berea Hard. Yeah. That hurt. Stand hydrated, guys. It's hot, but I'm good. I'm chilling.
right, we got another combat exercise. discouraging when the stretcher who's sending us in the battle is so unconcerned. <clears throat> there should be no trouble at all with the four of us. Get in here, be ready. At the very least, you get to show up, Machias. Fucking asshole. Show you that you don't need brains for every fucking thing in this game. We have nothing to fear. Here we go. He's gonna be damned by the time I cancel his watch anyway about that. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. It's my turn. Whirlwind! To me! No! I got you! Of course! Stop! Now! Leave! Leave it to me! Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. I've got a way to go to get to your level. Yeah, because we didn't cancel the enemy. All right, get out of here, sir. I told you it was gonna die before we get a chance to do that shit anyway. Yeah, we definitely obviously to keep practicing. It's okay. Yeah, make sure you guys don't kill the enemy before you cancel the art. Obviously not gonna make it. All they gotta do is cancel the art. heard her speaking so harshly, almost like a teacher. That concludes today's practical exam. Oh, now you want to get voice acting. Next, I'll be announcing the details of this weekend's field study. Now y'all goddamn trip. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these. Alright, who's the group this time? We got myself, Emma, Machias, Usus, and Fee. Oh, she put me with Machias and Usus. Come on, Sarah. Araya Hard and Saint Ark. Both very well known cities here in the Empire. Berea Hard's the capital of the Kreutzen province in the east, right? And Saint Ark is the capital of Sutherland in the south. Two provincial capitals. They seem like fair choices. Emma. That's the least of our worries. Yeah. Is this some kind of sick joke? Yeah, it's the second time. Oh, fuck, 
is she thinking? Instructor, what are you trying to prove? You have some sort of personal vendetta against this or something? For a change, I agree with him. This is ludicrous. It really is ludicrous. I refuse to accept these group allocations. Change them at once. <laughs> That's no fucking work. I don't know. They seem pretty perfect from where I'm standing. Besides, you're from Beret Hard, so putting you in Group A was a no-brainer. <sighs> then put me in Group B! I'm not thrilled at the thought of going to St. Art either, but it's better than gallivanting off to his hometown. Besides, everyone knows Berea Hard is like a breeding ground for nobles and their dusty old ideas. The place is crawling with them. Well, I can't deny that. Especially since that's exactly why I put you in Group A to begin with. I'm no army officer, so I'm not about to go telling you that my orders are absolute and such. That's much too military for my liking. But I am your instructor. And it's my duty to look out for your best interests, which I feel is exactly what I'm doing here. So if you have any objections, then how about the two of you try to make me listen to them by force? Uh, oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. You're not seriously going to... Oh, come on, don't... Snail Pride is so predictable. I knew you couldn't possibly turn down an offer like that. And I wouldn't have it any other way. With a spiffy, sir. Right, Rena! <laughs> Y'all okay with this? I'm about to get my ass beat too. Sure, she got a gun and a sword. What a powerful aura. Alright, it's time for some extreme extra credit. If you think you can convince me to change your assignments, well, let's just see how well you measure up. Yeah, this is gonna go over really right, Show me what you've got! Right! Arcus, activate! My turn! Burn to hex! My turn! Right. Go. Second form. Damn. My turn. Know your place. It's my turn. He's missing. Locked and loaded. Walk it away. My turn. All right, let's do this. Very, Very well. Very well. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. I'm barrier. Break. Hope you're ready. Here we go! 
Didn't see that coming. Oh. I'm so impossible. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. This, this can't be happening. Yeah, we're still together on this mission, guys. Uh, are you okay? I had no idea she was that strong. I believe she was holding back, too. Hey, thanks, guys. We definitely needed to know that. Her combat style is most unique. I couldn't even hazard a guess as to what school she represents. I guess this means... Yep. Decision's final. the educator. Group A and Group B will be heading to their destinations this weekend as planned. Good luck, everybody. I'll be expecting souvenirs. Oh, damn. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Toa! <laughs> You're just squeaky voice out of here, Toa. Don't sense anyone else on this floor. Seems like everyone's already out of their rooms. Suppose I should head down too. Alright. Go ahead and head on downstairs, because the game definitely likes to unequip all my shit. Here we go. <laughs> we haven't even left yet. <laughs> Morning. You two are up early. I want to make this very clear before we leave. You are my classmate. You are not my friend. I'm cool with that, bro. Stay, you keep your place, I keep my space. I'm good. We may be in the same group, but I would appreciate it if you would not address me as casually as you seem want to do. Um... Sure, whatever. Our class's vice president is as stubborn as ever. Say that again! I dare you. Hey, I'm about to be on use as a side, Maki, so you might want to calm down. Two against one. I can hear that. off your face. Um, good morning, everyone. It's okay, use I got your back, man. Maki is. Morning. Losing respect points right now. Uh, um, it looks like we're all gathered then. I'm keep that shit to rent to that use Shall we be me. leaving? We might as well. Though, there's still some time before our train leaves. That's fine. I have no objections either. Uh, well, let's go. Uh, Fee, we need to equip you guys first. This is going to be a long weekend. It's gonna be a long episode three, Ring. Got a long ass video tonight because of this shit. Alright, let's get everybody equipped. Alright, everybody's edited and ready to go. Go ahead and do it. And also our next field study. We're here. Yep, hoping we'll be able to reach Berea Hard before noon. Looks like you guys already have your tickets, huh? What do you mean? Do you really think it's even?
Jeffrey Shabar take us to line up in the uh, Barrera Heart Train. That's correct. Appreciate it, nice passenger lady. Yeah, my kids walk in the back. I don't want you too close. For real hard. That's the Machias. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Emma. Would you mind giving us an overview, Yusus? You're from Barrera City, after all. See why you scored so miserably in last month's field study. I got this, Emma. I got this. I got this. Last month, Group B got an E on their field study. If that had been a paper exam, it would have been a fail and a low one, too. Do you two really want that to happen again? Of course not. We were chosen to be in class 7 because of our differences, in fact. We come from different backgrounds, so naturally we're going to have conflicting opinions and ways of looking at things. And no doubt we all have a few beliefs that we're not willing to compromise on, no matter what. But that doesn't change the fact that for the next few days, we're all a part of the same group. We're all partners. I'm not saying we have to be friends, but we're in the same group and we're working toward the same objective. Let me try putting it another way for you, smartass. We're united against a common enemy, Group B, and unless we want to lose to them, we have to work together here, Machias. Emma, I got it. I told you I got this. Let Fang handle this. Me and Green Bean got this. Of course I am. I care about winning and losing just as much as the next guy, and get just as frustrated when other people hold me back. I'm just about how good your grades are, for example. All three of you, I feel like I'm losing to the race and have to struggle to catch up. And it was beyond frustrating when we lost against the structure the other day. There's no denying that she's strong, incredibly strong in fact. I don't know what kind of experience or training she's been through to become that way, but it's simply a fact. I just feel like if we've been able to work together a little better and maybe use combat links, if we've been able to form proper combat links with another one, thank you, Rena, I just said that, we may have at least even the eyes a little. See, Pia Grease, is she over there sleeping? Make the 
fuck up, all right. You gotta work on the unit. We get team class seven. We get team to get this stuff done, guys. Man, damn. Let's put your differences aside already. Yeah, they're not gonna have any trouble getting along. They really just switched me and Gaius. Honestly, if we don't do something about our own shortcomings, this score could easily double on us. So you're saying... Is an improvement. I sort of think what things must have been like the last time. All right, users, give us the rundown. Part of the city dedicated solely to those who work with them, isn't there? It's really true, huh? Yes, because you answer the professional army like a last one. Is it bad that I'm actually seeing this as kind of encouraging a <laughs> word sort of way? It feels like we're making progress. They are talking to each other, so that's good. Talk to Machias. I'd almost forgotten that Machias had a problem with me. I did. Listen, I'm sorry about. More than enough, thanks, Machias. Looks like he doesn't hate me after all. All right, Machias, I'll forgive you too. We ain't there yet, but it's destroyed, okay? You're not an asshole anymore. For now, though, we're called troops. For now. I'm gonna have to find some way to make it with them entirely. What do you mean? I didn't do anything special though. I just gave them my honest opinion. He won't, I'm sure of it. Nothing, nothing at all. It's been about two months now since I started at the academy. I guess it hasn't really been long enough yet for you to miss it, huh? That's very true. Still a city full of nobles. Think of the club, I'm going to need to be a lot more conscious of things I'm going to do. That's good advice. Thanks. 
If you have any more like it, I'm sure it would be really appreciative. It would be relying on your knowledge of the city. Okay, B. Um, there's something the matter. Thanks, I guess. Still, the hard part would be keeping this up for the whole of our build study. We're going to need to get a whole lot stronger if we want to have a better chance against the instructor next time. True, we were quickly out class by our last time. I wonder what sort of regiment she underwent to wind up so strong. Sounds like V knows something. Maybe we can get her to open up a bit more so. Alright, so you guys up for some blade? Emma? <laughs> Please go easy on me. I'll go easy on you, okay? I'll go easy. I got you, I got you. What are we working with, guys? Shall we draw then? Yes. Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. Of course it is, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bolt that. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna go ahead and mirror that. Oh no, this could be trouble. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Sorry. Ah, oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Get out of here with this like the same score. Oh, we have the same score. Emma! Let's try again. Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. I'm trying to take it easy on you, baby girl. Mirror. Oh no, this could be trouble. Oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Emma! She's gonna race my corner. Allow me to play first then. Yes. Emma! Bolt! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Hey Emma, I'm taking it easy on you now. Oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. I got it. Throwing it all on this card, guys. It looks as though I win this time. I took it easy on you, Emma. All right. All right, B, you're up. Let's go, B. Battle begin. Let's do it. I see you on the baron at this shit. We draw here, right? Yes. Guess we'd better draw again. I do it again. I'm first. Take this. Ha, ah, sorry. Using this. Take this. Ooh, feisty. I'm gonna go ahead and three ya. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Mirror. Sorry, mirror. Crap. Bolt. Ouch. I'm gonna use the bolt card. Ouch. Sorry, B. Looks like I win. B, come on! I told you I'm better at this shit, guys. Get off me! She clearly cheated. All right, Usus. If we have to. Noble versus Noble, let's go. I don't know if the girls win because I like them, so. I'm about to hold up the back against you, Draw bro. a card. We have the same score. Let's redraw. We gotta redraw? <laughs> go ahead, then. I'm going. We have the same score. Let's redraw. You did that on purpose. What, why not keep making me redraw? We have the same score. Let's, let's doing redraw. the whole redraw, Eustace. Come on, bro. <laughs> go ahead, then. Bolt. Get the <laughs> part out of now here. you've done it. Mirror. Oh, you impertinent little. Out of here. Take this. He's gonna use a bolt. I just. This <laughs> guy. He's 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 cheating. How about this? Okay. Get rid of that too. Six. How about this? Bolt. Get out of here. Now you've done it. Useless. My victory was assured from the start. Oh, no, no. Guys! I had a ball crap! <laughs> Useless! That's cat! Okay. I gotta win at least one match. Machias. I'm not going to hold back. Let's go, smartass. <laughs> I'm about to lose it this day. I can see it right now. He's fucking smart. <laughs> well then, go ahead and draw. Okay, Machias. Like first. Go easy on me, okay? Go easy on me. Or even. We'll have to redraw. 
I love every freaking character, it's guys. Like first. Mirror. Boom. Get out of here, Machias. Boom. Machias, you don't want none. Boom. Boom. Now you've done it. Or even, we'll have to redraw. Get out of here with this redraw. Or even, we'll have to redraw. Machias, they keep redrawing. I'll go first then. Oh! Now you've done it! It's mostly luck anyway. Yeah! Oh, Machias! Got you, buddy! <laughs> I lost to every character, but I beat the smartest one of the whole group! Get out of here, Machias! Bitch your ass out of here! <laughs> I kicked his ass! Well, how many cards did you have left, bro? <laughs> oh, bro! Got in that ass! <laughs> I'm taking that victory and running with it. Let's go! <laughs> Breed and Bus ain't gonna solve everything in your life, Machias. <laughs> that ain't gonna help him against from getting me, guys. <laughs> Damn, I think the smartest thing I've ever did. Now, worked up a sweat beat Machias' ass. <laughs> God, that's fucking hot in here, nigga. <laughs> I don't want to face me on Blade either. <laughs> so you have a Blade Master of this shit. <laughs> like, just because you beat one nigga doesn't mean you can beat everything. <laughs> Look, you can see two staples in the distance. <laughs> Get your comment out of here, bro. <laughs> Oh man, y'all real, y'all, y'all, y'all goofy today. <laughs> but, but you can't beat me, fake. <laughs> let's go, bro. Let's go. One on one. Let's go. <laughs> but this is a four plus game, man. I'm all about that life. Lord Usus. Lord Eusus, welcome back to Berehard. It's a pleasure to see you again. Amazing. I can't believe all the station employees would abandon their duties to come and welcome him. He's a real VIP. I've returned here as a student of Thor's military academy to conduct a field study. I believe you were informed that this manner of excessive welcome is neither necessary nor desired. Were you not? W well, yes, but child of the Elberea household. If anything, we should be apologizing for not giving you an even greater welcome. Please, allow me to carry your luggage. We would be honored to carry the belongings of your classmates as well. <sighs> that won't be necessary. Huh? Lord Rufus? Uh... Oh, who's this dude? Right that outfit. Rufus? What? My beloved brother, it's a pleasure to see you again. To think it's been three months. Where did the time go? I wasn't expecting to reunite with you so soon, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity. As am I. You seem well. I take it these are your fellow members of Class 7? Yes, that's correct. You know about us? Of course. I've read all about you in my brother's letters. Where are my manners, though? My name is Rufus Alberea. Eusus is my younger brother. You needn't hide your shot. It would come as no surprise at all to learn that my brother has never once mentioned me. Yeah, he hasn't. He is, after all, quite easily embarrassed. Th that's not... He's being toyed with. I can hardly believe my ears. What happened to the arrogant young upstart we've come to know and mostly tolerate? Ah, but I digress. This is no time for idle chatter. I came to escort you to your lodgings for the weekend. W wait, you don't mean... <laughs> the 
the car is parked outside. Welcome to the verdant city of Bereahard. I hope you enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Appreciate it, Eustace. While we're still doing that chest thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. We might just go ahead and just beat the rest of the chapter. I'm still good. I'm not, I'm not sweating yet. I'm not hot, so we good. Might just go ahead and beat the whole chapter. Oh, no. We'll, fight. we'll figure it out. It seems to be like a, like a three and a half hours, just about chapter to chapter, without skipping cutscenes. Uh, you can beat the game. Speed See, to speed run trails. So the one responsible like, for selecting our know, tasks this time around was like maybe three to four hours skipping cutscenes using the turbo picture too. Indeed, I selected them on behalf of my father. Allow me to present you with this. All right, it's got our fuel Thank you. Appreciate it. it really is a fascinating coincidence. I never imagined my younger brother would become classmates with the son of Lord Schwarzer. Lord Schwarzer, look at you. Huh? You know my father? Certainly. Baron Theo Schwarzer is an old acquaintance of mine. Yeah, Theo Schwarzer, that's her dad. Many years ago, I accompanied him to a falconry competition held in the suburbs of Heimdall. He taught me much about the practice and its etiquette. Why, that must have been ten years ago now. Is he doing well these days? <laughs> Yes, he's quite well, and still just as fond of hunting as ever. Splendid, splendid. <clears throat> and you must be the son of Governor Regnitz, no? That's correct. I'm surprised you knew. Indeed. I encounter him quite often when taking care of official matters in the capital. Though our positions may be different, he has given me excellent advice in the past. I feel it must be fate that you two would end up in my younger brother's class. Please do try and get along with him. Uh, uh, I will consider the possibility with an open mind. <laughs> Wonderful. And I would be remiss if I were not to acknowledge our two beautiful ladies. No doubt your presence brings a touch of elegance to my younger brother's academic life. Oh, I'm honored you would say so. It's nothing like that. Can we please stop discussing me? And when you say lodgings, you can't possibly be referring to... <laughs> Need you even ask? Naturally, you'll all be staying at the Alborea family mansion. Naturally. But... <laughs> I jest. Father's instructions were that I should do with you as I wish. So, considering the circumstances of your visit, I've had a hotel room prepared. Alright, Rufus, I kinda like you. That way you'll be able to concentrate more easily on your field study, no? So boy Rufus here, okay? Okay? Oh. He's got jokes! <laughs> Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Alright, Eustace, your brother's pretty cool, dude. I'm afraid we'll need to end our charming repartee here, however. For I can see your hotel coming into view now. Alright, I appreciate it, Rufus. Rufus is my boy. Thank you for the escort. Shadow Rufus. Damn, what a nice guy. He knows your father though, man. Like, you gotta go on. You, you, you gotta respect that, Marcus. Yeah. So he really is a nice guy. Yeah, he made a point of showing consideration for my dad, too, even though he's a low-ranking noble. Hmm? 
Alright, Jesus, so I guess you gotta lead the way then. Come on, let's go jump off our fingers, guys. Alright, let's do it. You says you got point. Yeah, that works for me. <clears throat> this is like really fancy for a hotel. Yeah. Power of money. We can finally start working on our field study tasks now, I think. <laughs> Makias wants to get out of here. Alright, here it goes. Leave it to me. I'll read this off. Alright, we got one that's not going to matter. Put a ring on it. Alright, so we got a request for the guy at Turner's. And then we got a Monster Extermination Quest. So please report to the soldiers at Oroch's Fort. And this is going to be a top of cliff part way along the Oroch's okay, so the Oroch's Canyon Path. Okay, so it's going to be the same text every time, I guess. Yeah, they seem to have struck the perfect balance here. Should probably save that one for last just to be on the safe side. Same here. Alright, then let's get started, guys. I'm sure Alyssa and the others are working hard on their own tasks as we speak, and we can't let them beat us. So let's give this our all. Guys, let's do it. Use this. You got it's point, my bro. Turn. My turn. My turn. All right, use this. <clears throat> All right, so we gotta find Turner's Jewelers. I don't know where that fuck that is. I ain't gonna. Uh, maybe he's on Artisan Street. This street seems kind of different from the others. This is Artisan Street, where craftsmen and merchants ply their trades. Oh, it looks like he's with the customer right now. Wait, you were discussing us? Does that mean... Uh... Oh, okay.
dry ass tear. That's her an expert on jewels as well, huh? Okay, North Crooks and Howard. Well, then I suppose we just have to buckle down and look. Yeah, introduce yourself, bro. Baron Blubonk. I see. He seems a little off pitifully eccentric. That is true. Well, we're certainly appreciative for the information. May I ask why you're telling us all of this though? Sure. I'm with you on that one. Alright, let's put a ring on that shit, guys. North Crooks and Highway. Everybody good? Let's do this. Alright, uh, remember how to get to the dry ass Kia? Be where it's at. I'm all useless if I can not know how to beat this thing. Bridge, huh? Star Bridge. Beyond here is out of bounds for our field study. Gotcha. Out of bounds, guys. Out of bounds. And go that way. Locked off. So pretty. Alright, let's see if we can remove it without causing any damage. Got it. Yep. And we still have no idea why he went out of his way to kill us. So there's no point worrying about that now. We got what we came for. Alright, can't teleport, so we gotta walk all the way back, Yusuf. Should we do a full sprint here? Teleport once we get back in the city. That is a lot of cars. Makes sense. I've never seen those vehicles accompanying them before now. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. Let's go back to Artisan Street. Give this man his ring he's been waiting for. Um, is something wrong? Uh, sure, here. Ah, uh, keep it to yourself, Fang. Eh? Don't say anything. We have had to heard that wrong, right? He just ate that shit! You crazy, bro? What the fuck are we doing in this goddamn game, guys? Why do you eat it, though, bro? Machias. Me and Ray thought the same shit. Machias, bro. Oh yes, yeah, useless. There you go, useless. Okay. Popular variety of alternative medicine practice in the eastern lands. This is a stupid as fuck. <laughs> Dumbass. This nigga dumb as fuck. It goes, it's like a something from Asian, bruh. Some things never change. Maki, you do gotta keep that shit to yourself, though. I had to give it to myself when you first said something, too. He's been here. <laughs> Blue block. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah, that was a that was some farce for sure. <laughs> he ate that fucking tear back. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that wasn't even fucking paying attention to the text. Hey, Blue Blunt, you're a little bit weird, but I don't like you, I guess. What the hell was all that about?
And now I'll say we got it complete, right? Appreciate it. But this. Alright, thank you. Alright, can we head to Oras Canyon now? Ooh, that's a long path. Are you gonna have to walk that shit too? Which means the monster we're after is somewhere along this path. The most logical approach here would be to take care of the monster first, then continue following the path to the port. Yeah, Maki, yes, we ain't doing that fucking side quest, bruh. Alright, told you that. That bridge above us looks like it dates back to the Middle Ages. It is. It's been there for several hundred years. We gotta walk! Ooh, I don't know if we... Yeah, that's not it. That's this not monster it. seems dangerous. Be careful. That's why we're gonna avoid it, Emma. We ain't walking to that thing. Ain't about to get fucked up by no big-ass bird. Probably got a shit ton of HP too. This looks like quite an old road, though it does seem well reinforced. Yep, looks like a lot of armored vehicles come this way. <sighs> you okay, Yusus? All right, that monster should be to the right. I thought the okay. So the monster mentioned the crest should be at the top of the cliff. We better head back and take care. Okay, got it. I went the wrong way. Bro. I thought it was the other way though. Okay, so it is to the right then. I didn't notice there was a path here. The monster we're looking for should be just ahead. Yeah, I see it on the map. Right here. There it is. You can do it. All right, we're counting on you. We'll start the battle as soon as we're ready. Alright, so we gotta put Machias in here. Switch you with the... Oh, no, not the leader. There we go. Give me the C. Let's do this. Let's go. I'm good to go. Let's do this. This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. Go! All right, let's do this! Very well. Okay. Target locked. Leave it to me. Run that link, guys. I still can't wait. Oh, I still can't wait. Very well. <laughs> My turn. I'll be <laughs> Here we go. What the? Right. What the fuck, guys? Turn. Get me out of this shit! Ooh. My turn. Me all fucking up! I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. <sighs> that 
That was rough. Yeah, but we still won. Only just. What the hell is wrong with you, Eustace Alborea? Here we go. Why did you sever the link? Don't even think of trying to place the blame on me, Machius Regnitz. You were the one who severed the link. You said you'd cooperate, but you just couldn't do it, could you? You couldn't bring yourself to stoop to the same level as a commoner like me! You nobles truly are beyond redemption! You're utterly hopeless, through and through! <clears throat> Asinine little... Why can't you see that all of this is born from your own prejudice and narrow-mindedness? That's enough! Please, calm down! Stay out of this! This is our problem! They're about to hit each other. Why don't we settle this once and for all? Let me show you how much better than you I really am. My mind is on you, sis. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Rain Bean! Rain. We took one for the team, Brad! Oh! There we go. Uh oh, he got me in the back! Oh! Oh! <sighs> Brad! Oh! Nice work. Shit. Rain, are you alright? And now I alright, Emma. I got hit in the back by those big ass balls. Hey. I thought I was gonna have some seafood today too, guys. Are you injured? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. I was so sure we'd killed it though. God damn, so Rain. I, I shouldn't have either. But it's down for good this time. Fuck. <sighs> I should administer first aid on that scratch. I'll need you to take off your jacket. I already got my jacket off. Get me two Emma while you're at it. I need a massage too. God damn. Fuck. Let's go leave a mark. Mm. That feels much better. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm happy I was able to put what we learned from instructor Beatrix's classes to good use. That was last week, right? I'm sorry, Rena. It's our fault that you were injured. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's all good. It wouldn't have happened if I'd been paying more attention. I'm just glad neither of you were hurt. Why are you so... You should rest that shoulder for a while. Yes, absolutely. I'd strongly recommend you fall back from the front line for the time being. Thanks, I will. All right, let's get moving. We need to tell the Provincial Army about the monster we just defeated. Yeah. I suppose it's not a done deal until we file our report. Our Ox Fort isn't much farther across the canyon. We may need to hurry if we wish to be back in Berea Hard before nightfall, however. Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, Reen? Huh? What is it? What's up? Uh, it just... Uh... Looks so human. She got a demon! What? What did you just do? Rain, you didn't hear that shit just now? Nothing. I just wanted to check on your bandage. Nah, bitch, you spoke another language. I heard that shit. Good, good. It seems fine. But please, try your best to keep your shoulder firm. The less it moves, the better. We don't want your injury getting worse now. Rain, are you gonna sit here and pretend what that shit did, did just happen just now? Okay. I could Rain. swear I felt something warm into my body. Maybe I'm just imagining things. But you crazy, bruh! I heard what she said. Committed little of seven foot whatever she said. I mean, she spoke she spoke another language. Was that Egyptian? I'm not what am I am I? Give me uses. Leave it to me. I'll oh. handle this. <laughs> she got a demon. She got a big ass secret. I, I knew it. She'll get my ass clapped in my sleep. You get a boo doll, voodoo doll or some shit. Be careful around that one, Rain. Shall I really deal with my yes and use this too, bro? <laughs> she man, Machias and Yus is killing each other, or Emma is gonna whisper some sweet words into your ear. <laughs> Kala la la goo. <laughs> I read a load up. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Emma? You're crazy!
It's no big deal, honest. It stopped bleeding and it doesn't even hurt that much anymore. Emma's first aid skills really are top notch. They really are. <laughs> Thanks, Yusus. But I'm really not kidding about how little pain I feel. It's kind of incredible. Did you rub some kind of special ointment on the wound or something, Emma? <laughs> she just put some shit and fucking <laughs> <they> healed us. <laughs> yeah, and it is special. <laughs> oh, really? My old master often used something similar. I want to know more about him too, Fee. <laughs> well, she changed the subject. Thanks, Slick. Now that you mention it. Custom. All right, let's keep it moving, fellas and ladies. What's in Watch the bird. Stay on guard. Yeah, time to fight that thing. Damn, we had to walk all the way over here, guys. We made it though. Whoa, it's huge. So this is Orox Fort. One of the Kreutzen Provincial Army's premier bases. Not how I was expecting it to look. They modified an older fort. A lot. Something wrong, Yusus? No, not at all. Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. How? Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, right, Yusuf. Why does he have to be so... Makia, save it. He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. There. Wait, aren't those uniforms? We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness. I just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well. Trust me, she's a fighter. <laughs> um, so we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight him, as you might imagine. I can understand that. Well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Mm hmm? Wait. Oh! Lord Eusis, what brings you? Ah, th that uniform. Are you... 
correct. I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alborea household. Please treat me accordingly, the same as you would my classmates. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eustace. Wow. <laughs> Looks like even the provincial army will miss the chance to bend over backwards for him. That's how it works, Machias. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. Ah, you saw it? Our provincial army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Yeah, that's a for you, isn't it, Eustace? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. We can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. Yeah, I guess that's true. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. You gotta walk all the way back, Jesus? Oh, that's Cat. The Wait. cutscene takes us back here. What is the meaning of this? Machias? <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machias... He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Brayhart. Yeah. Let's go then. So we gotta walk all the way back. <laughs> Come on, that's bullshit, guys. Y'all gonna be fucking pro outfits. Dangerous foe. Stuff. Stay on guard. We're good, Marcus. We're good. We're moving. Yeah, that work out walking all the way back on foot. What's that alarm? Fee, what? Oh, bruh, it's flying! That's a robot. That's a girl on it, too. That's not a bird, Machias. Yes, you saw that was a freaking robot with a girl on it. <laughs> you said so. Yeah, B, you're right. I'm glad somebody said the obvious. Like, a fucking bird, bro. <laughs> Dumbass. It did look like a child, yeah. You didn't see it? Yes. Oh, we didn't get out the way. Oh, we ran over. Oh, they broke into their shit. That way. Or this way. You do know it was flying though, right? You can't catch it. That was like way half up way in there. I don't think you can get that thing from the ground, dude. 
I guess it's gotta land eventually. Yeah, they're not gonna catch it. <laughs> it does seem unlikely. On another note, my shoulder seems to have healed completely. I feel ready to rejoin the front line. I'm pretty sure I don't. I think Emma's grandmother's medicine was just really effective. Okay. I never read about Rainy Band later. We good. Use his hometown, they gotta use uses after all. Uses is the veteran here, not me. This place does look pretty good when the sun sets though, doesn't it? Got that good graphic in there, guys. They really made you walk all the way back here, Uses. Damn. Man, that's where if I had to actually do this in real life. We're finally back. Finally, V. <sighs> My feet are killing me. Yeah, man, that's a full-blown sprint. I'd be tired too, like shit. <laughs> I would have hopped in one of those tanks, but like, hey, can I give us a ride back? I'll for sure y'all think I'm gonna do this shit, <laughs> shit on butt. Just about sundown. What you looking at, Yusus? Yeah, it's probably long gone by now. We should head back to the hotel before it gets dark. There's a lot to put in our daily reports today, after all. Alright. Y'all know how to get back to that hotel? Because I've been skipping everything. I'm thinking, I, I know how to get there, guys. I'm testing you guys. Making sure you guys know. I gotta walk sometimes so you guys can see the goddamn scenery. Like, damn thing, you're just skipping everything. I know, bro. We're just gonna be moving, bro. Point A to point B. I, t I told you we point A to point B. Getting it done. I want to see the city and see you walk around there. Fuck all that shit. Get the game yourself and you walk around. Dude. Ain't about to waste time doing all that pointless bullshit. Or if the goddamn animated come out, I'm sure the anime is going to see it. Oh, that's his dad. Get off me, guys. I'm enjoying myself, man. It's been over three hours now, I'm pretty sure. Been here for a long goddamn time, guys. It's gonna be your all fucking night doing this shit. I told you we be going to we get to the end of the chapter. We doing it. I ain't hot yet either. I got my fan on, we good. I got snacks. I still got a little bit of water left over here. We good. Chill it. I ain't tall like I was yesterday. <laughs> you know, I'm good. That's the only thing I haven't done yet was eat. I 
got snacks, but I didn't eat any freaking actual dinner. Do that right after this fucking video, too. Alright, this is day one done, guys. Done with day one. Woo! <sighs> I got some bread. The breeze here feels wonderful. Nice, I got some damn what y'all drinking too. I, I see y'all drinking, guys. I gotta see it. <laughs> the food was delicious too. It looks delicious. I got some spaghetti or something in there. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How oh, typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes, for a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusa stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of there. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? Yep. So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on, dare I ask? Uh, well... Yeah, we don't think we want to bring that out, Rain. Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. And I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. There you go. That's, that's, that's what I like, Yusis, guys. He's, he wants to better himself. I like that, Yusis. It, it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. And we didn't. But can we honestly say the same? Nope. That we could have done no better? Yep. And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Yeah, because we didn't do that other task. Hmm. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yeah. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Yeah, we gotta think about that too, Marcus. Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent, and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So, you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Oh, the travails of youth! How noble and beautiful they are! It's Blue Blanc! It's you! Baron Blue Blanc, I believe? It's such an honor that you would remember a mere baron. Well, my dad's a baron, so... I see you've completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles. Yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. Well, I oh, hope you enjoy guy. the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. Coaster. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Yeah. 
Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end, be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. Machias, calm down. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah. Something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger... ...is that he knew we only have one day left here. Oh, I didn't even think about that, Rain. You're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. <sighs> Can't get to sleep. I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. Hey, it feels like an asshole. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. In other words, I am his bastard son. I had no idea. So, was that chef we met <clears throat> earlier? He's my uncle. On my mother's side. Perhaps oh. that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences, but you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. 
Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I... am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. It wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. <laughs> I uh, don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. Well, I owed you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health, then for your... reputation. That selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, it wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Yusis. Pleasant dreams. Oh yeah, he was eavesdropping. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. Appreciate it, Sarah. I've got a little reward here for you. Thank you, thank you. Drinks are on me someday. Someday they'll be on you, Sarah. Someday. Not today, but someday they will be. All right, day two. got going on today. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I'm anxious too, eh? Alright, see what we got going on. Just got a monster extermination. Alright, where's the client at, though? Okay, so the hotel. Oh, so that came for the butler, then. So North Kurtzen Highway. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Rufus had predicted what happened yesterday from the very start. Eustace Alborea. What is it, Machias Regnitz? I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Nonsense! I did no such thing! I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Uh. Machias. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <laughs> Machias, dude. <sighs> 
It's all good, Marcus. Very well. I accept. All right, guys. Guys, we got a breakthrough. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Emma, I got a good feeling about today. Lord Eusus. Who's this? Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course. However, his grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if his grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... I uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Ha! Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> Of course we will. We got this, Eusus. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Mm -hmm. Go for it. See you later, Eusus. We got this. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Eusus any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh. Certainly not. Still... Marcus? What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. D stop that! D stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain? You do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Sure. Are you still hung up on that? And Emma! I hope you're ready to score second on our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you! I can't hear you! <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? Yeah, Machias, you want to try out being the leader for today? <laughs> right. What's that Machias lead, guys? <laughs> I think he wants to do it. Okay! It's all you, Machias. Right. Uh, <laughs> Machias is my god. All right, so we're going to the North Crimson Highway. Take care of a monster. Uh, uh. Machias, I don't know where this dude is, so you're gonna have to do some spawn here. Maybe it's just at the very end. I think it is on the bridge. So it should just be a straight. Path. There it is. Freaking plant thing. There it is. I call this promise for everyone too. My injuries were a result of my own carelessness. Hopefully by giving the spider everything we got, we can make this whole we can make up for this whole mess together. Count on you, Machias. Yeah, 
do it. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. My turn. Machius, pick it up. Ooh, that's a lot of energy. Gotta go back here. Second form. Damn! Go! Got you! Okay. Leave it to me. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. We sure did, and in doing so, I believe we successfully redeemed ourselves from yesterday. It's alright, Machias. I told you not to worry about it. If I just answer you honestly from the start, all of this could have been avoided. So if anything, I should really want to apologize. I'm sorry for misleading you. Anyway, it's all in the past now. I'm glad to have you back in the group, Machias. So as long as we're on a roll here, why not use this chance to make up with uses too? If you could just be more honest with one another, I'm sure even in combat links wouldn't be out of bed. Guess getting those two to set one another is still a long ways off. Um, well, we should probably head back to town, don't you think? Get a spot, my gift. Eat that! Yes, that's us. has to be some kind of mistake. On what grounds are you arresting him? Wait a minute, they're burning Machias for that? Every one of us here can vouch for him. Not looking good.
As I keep telling you, Maki has kept Pase have committed the crime he's accused of. He's been with us ever since we arrived in Berehar yesterday afternoon. He's never left our sight. They had this whole thing planned out since yesterday, which means the recent uses got called away. Almost certainly, I'll say. It's past noon already. We should head back to the hotel. The user hasn't left a message for us. We're going to start thinking about other ways to handle this. And they got guards. Sorry for the trouble. I think we should go. Yeah, can't even go about to get our shit, huh? Some bullshit. Okay, so we went back to the artisan street. In all likelihood, the reason Machias was arrested has nothing to do with the incident at the fort yesterday. They just wanted him because his father is the Imperial Governor and a key figure in the reformist faction. Basically, they wanted a hostage so they could have an advantage in future negotiations. may well fall under the scope of our field study though. It may be risky, but how about we try to do something about this situation ourselves? Thank you, both. I think our best bet here is to track down Yusus. There's no way he could possibly have been in favor of arresting Machias. He did have a pleasant demeanor when speaking with Machias yesterday, so he just might. But he said he had business to take care of in the capital, and there's no telling when he'll be back from that. So I don't think we can count on him, unfortunately. Oh, I could break in. I was just getting ready to say that. That's a little excessive. I can't argue with that at least. All right, let's give it a try. Yeah, and the provincial army isn't going to want to do anything that will hurt their image either. We can manage to get out of Berea, however, more or less home free. Yeah, she did use grenades in battle earlier, Emma. I don't even know where to begin listening to what's wrong with that statement.
we're sitting here for a field study as a part of our curriculum. Excuse me. I haven't seen a bracer in a long time. Probably because we're just not that many around anymore. By the way, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I thought I overheard you saying something about monsters in an underground waterway. Think of what I'm thinking. That's where we're getting ready to go. Yeah, an underground waterway built in the Middle Ages that extends all the way to the Noble District. It's almost too perfect. Seems like it is connected to the Provincial Army's guardhouse where Machias is being held, too. Alright, let's give it a shot. There must be an interest aspect to the town if the braces were able to get inside to exterminate the monsters. Alright, leave it to me. Must be the place thing. Now we just need a way to unlock it. Probably not a good idea to drop my sword in the middle of a city. Emma? A hairpin? That was really impressive. Nice job, Emma. We should be able to get inside now. Let's get all of our things in order, then head in and pray no one sees us. Alright, let's get this rescue mission underway. West, the part of the waterway that connects with the Provincial Army's guardhouse. Once we're there, we have to find a way inside so we can rescue Machias. Alright, make sure you two girls keep up. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! I'll handle it. My turn! That's that. Let's keep moving. Just the kind of thing you'd expect in an old ruin like this. Do you think it's powered by the water flowing through here? I 
certainly didn't expect to encounter the three of you down here. Use this. What? Is that... Use this? I'm so glad you're safe. Of course I am. Though I can't say I was expecting to be placed under house arrest the moment I returned to the mansion. So that's what happened. You know what's going on? Unfortunately. Arresting the Imperial Governor's son under a false charge in order to keep the reformist faction under control. I find it hard to believe my father would attempt something so brazen. He didn't have any intention of talking to me. Not the slightest inclination. This was all planned from the start. <sighs> Uses. Enough about me. Thanks to my brother, I'm familiar with the general layout of this waterway. I'll lead us to the guardhouse. Let's get moving. Alright. You're actually... You were planning on saving him even if you had to do it alone, weren't you? Nothing like last month's field study. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I just can't condone my father's actions. Besides, he's no doubt huddled up, crying and lonely in the corner of his cell right now. <laughs> Come on, Yusuf. It's worth rescuing him just to see that. He's the homie, we gotta save him. <sighs> All right, let's get moving. All right, yes, this you got Lee. It's my turn. I'll handle it. My turn. The entrance to the guardhouse is to the west. We should hurry. lattice door there should be a mechanism to open it somewhere nearby right, we got that one at least to the guardhouse. It looks far too sturdy for my sword to have much effect either. This can be overcome. See? What do you mean? Stand back. Explosive. What are you doing? I know this smell. Explain yourself, please. Ignition. B. What? What? B, you're not normal, are you? Done. Uh, D done? Fee? Fee, did you? Was that a bomb? Portable high powered explosive. Plasticity makes it handy for this kind of espionage work. E explosive? Fee? Where could you possibly have gotten such a thing? Fee, I think at this point we have a right to know. What exactly is your background? Reen? Uh, no, no, Emma. The day of the entrance ceremony, I saw you dodging that trap floor the rest of us fell into. You're two years younger than us, yet you're physically no weaker at all. In fact, I'd say when it comes to combat situations, you seem almost like you're holding back. Impossible. Guess you got me. Before I came to the Academy, I was a Jaeger. That's where I learned how to handle explosives and use my gun swords. That's all. Jaeger? I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, me either. I've heard that term before. The best of the best mercenary outfits are known as Jaeger Corps. Jaeger Corps are almost synonymous with the Grim Reaper. Do you think I'd be going to school with a Jaeger? 
Me? A reaper? No, that's that's not... I, I spoke out of turn. I mustn't let prejudices get the better of me. That's right. Knowing her past doesn't change who she is now. I mean, I don't care about her being a Jaeger. It's just, damn. That explains a lot. Thanks for telling us, V. And I'm sorry for prying. Not bothered. But we should hurry if we want to save Machias. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we need to get back to the mission. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's press onward. All right, use this. Sweep away, please. Machias around the corner. This looks like the place. Looks like an underground prison, all right. Indeed. It must be here somewhere. Am I hearing things? Found him. Machius. Machius. And still in one piece by the sound of it. What's left of him? What are you all doing here? <laughs> Is it obvious? There's no way the provincial army would just let me go. You didn't sneak in, did you? We came in through the underground waterway. I'll open the cell. going to what the <laughs> we'll explain when we have more time yeah we need to get out of here Machia. Yeah, right now we need to get away from here before we're caught as long as we can make it back to the city we should be able to bluff our way out of any further trouble right try to keep up Machias. thanks i would resigned myself to being stuck in there for a while i must admit though i'm surprised you of all people would come to my aid I only came to get a glimpse at your tear-stained face. Plus, I thought this might be a good opportunity to pay back my father. I see. What? Voices? Damn. Ugh. It's... Oh, Lord Eusis? As much as I would love to praise you for a job well done, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take a short rest. Huh? How are we doing this? <sighs> Let's clean house! Roger that. Right! Oh, let's get this over. Okay. Go! I'll handle this. Let's go. I'll handle it. Target's eliminated. Let's get going. They definitely want to sleep. They should be able to catch up with us if we leave right now. Alright, stay on mission, guys. Stay on mission. Machia's back in. Emma. I mean, be with a gun, but man, Machia's the use of the thing. If I hadn't been so careless, this would never have happened. There wasn't much he could have done. <laughs> I'm just glad you're alright. Doesn't sound good. What was that? Running. Oh shit! <laughs> How do we get out of here? Big and fast. Hurry! Great! Uh, this is the worst day ever. Oh! Big boy jumping. Oh 
was a nice jump though. We're surrounded. They're very well trained. Cats? No, no, dogs. They're like dogs. Your family's army employs monsters like this? No one ever told me. They aren't going to let us past, are they? Pretty smart little beasts. So we'll just have to take him down. Indeed. Bad dogs require stern discipline. Time to wrap up this month's field study. Class 7, Group A. Commence attack on the targets. Kate. All right. Don't let it intimidate you. Oh, they're linked up. This might actually be a challenge. Good. All right, I'll like it. Here we go. All right, let's do this. All right, Very well. It's my turn. <sighs> right. Barrier. Break. Go. Now. My turn. Arcus, activate. Time. Let's go. Nice job, team. <sighs> we did it. That was tough. <sighs> I thought we were done for. <laughs> I have no intention of letting filthy beasts get the better of me, trained or otherwise. <laughs> Honestly, now, this is no laughing matter, you know. Well, you two linked up with each other, so that was good. <laughs> Look who's talking. You're grinning like an idiot. Not as much as you are. There they go. I don't think we could have wrapped this month's field study up more perfectly if we tried. I agree, Reen Bean. We were all able to form combat links with one another, too. Oh, Damn. shit. I forgot about them. We're not through the woods just yet, it would seem. Can we just whip their ass, too? We know we can take him out. <sighs> it's like the end of the road. You've pushed your luck one step too far this time. Are you that desperate to be thrown in a cell with Ragnitz? With Ragnitz? <laughs> that voice acting, though. I can't read the voice actor. Nice job. I like that accent, bro. If you want to arrest us, go right ahead. Lord Yusis! Lord Yusis! <laughs> Bro, what are you doing here? I thought you'd been locked in the mansion. Been locked in the mansion. <laughs> man, the voice actor for this game, man, I swear they did a good job. I chose to return to my studies. Well, 
What's it to be? Bam. Accusing my classmates of this crime will implicate me as well. We... We couldn't possibly point our rifles at Lord Eusis. Silence! Silence! Not even Lord Eusis has the right to trespass in a military facility! Alright, this voice actor will not be ignored. Much less to release a suspect in our custody, directly opposing the orders of His Grace the Duke. Enough! We may not be the best of friends, but I am Eusis Alvarea. I will not simply stand by and watch as one of my classmates is arrested under false charges and used in a tool in some political war. Oh, Lord Eusis. Eusis. <laughs> we have our orders, and nothing you say will change that. Disarm them, men, Lord Eusis included. That will not be necessary. Uh, Rufus! What? I told you that's why I like Rufus! Impossible. It's my boy. Rufus Lord to Rufus. save the day! Lord Rufus! Lord Rufus! Dude, his boy man, how do I get I wanna start talking like that now? We'd heard you were in the capital. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video! <laughs> Today! <laughs> that voice at the man, teach me how to do that. How? Why are you? I received a message from the Academy at noon today, and I returned by airship as quickly as I could. With your instructor. What? Looks like you've all done a fine job. Instructor Sarah! Instructor Sarah? What are you doing here? I've been filled in on the circumstances, more or less. I'll take care of matters here. You all return to your posts at once. But, Lord Rufus, with, with all due respect... I've already informed my father. Or do you intend to embarrass me beyond your other transgressions? No, of course not! Second company, withdraw! Sir! Please, excuse us. Oh my. Well, you can tell they're well-trained, if nothing else. The Provincial Army takes its training very seriously, of course. Though I resent the mere notion that it could be misused so grievously. I'm sure you do. So, what brings you here, Instructor? Seriously, why are you here? Your timing is a little too convenient. Way too convenient. Did you come after receiving word from the Provincial Army? Nope. I actually heard about what was happening a little earlier from a friend of mine. As soon as the news reached my ears, I shot to my feet and got right in contact with the director here. And he was kind enough to give me a ride on his airship back from the capital. I don't know what to say. Honestly, you seem to be prepared for virtually everything. That's why she's our instructor, okay? We can't underestimate her even though she is still a drunk. She gets it done. You got more respect, sir. Uh, wait a second. Director? Oh, you don't know yet, do you? you know what? I wait. also serve as a permanent member of the Academy's Board of Directors. Wait, Rufus? Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to meet again in that capacity. All right, okay, bro. All right, I'm okay with that. The Board of Directors? Why is this the first I'm hearing of this? <laughs> I decided to keep it a secret so I could see the look on your face when you found out. I'm not the only member of the board, though, of course. I'm simply one of three permanent members. One of three. That explains why you knew so much about Class 7. Way too well prepared. I see. Still, I had no idea my father would attempt something so foolish while I was away. He's always been an obstinate man, but he's simply gone too far this time. As a member of the Academy's board, I cannot remotely condone the unlawful arrest of a student. Rufus, thank you for your concern. All right, I'm glad Rufus is a board of directors then. We out of here. That was a nice job. At least we got a chance to get that combat link form between Machias and Eusis.
Appreciate it, Rufus. What an upstanding guy! Not an asshole or anything. Like his freaking dad. So well spoken, too. Elegant dress. So that's class seven, eh? A little rough around the edges, but they managed to get through in one piece. I think I see now why you're so fixated on them, Sarah. And... Rufus Alborea. I've heard people say he's the sharpest noble of the bunch, but still... What business could he possibly have over by the canyon so early in the morning? Is that what you were about to ask? Who are you? <laughs> Pay me no mind, I'm but a low-ranking noble. I've been watching over those young students to see what they're capable of, much like yourself. Really now? You'll forgive me for asking, but you look awfully like someone a couple of acquaintances mentioned to me a long time ago. You wouldn't happen to have some fancy-sounding stage name or anything, would you? Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll just have to find that out on your own. Your acquaintances wouldn't be a certain innocent young couple from a foreign land, though, would they? You'll just have to find that out on your own. Indeed. Well, if you'll please excuse me, it's almost time for the airship to depart, and I really must be getting back to Heimdall. May we meet again, young Bracer. Do give my regards to the Purple Lightning, if you would. As if the situation weren't messy enough, it seems we've got another source of trouble on our hands now. I'd better let the others know, just in case. Alright, that wraps this up. I'm not tired, I'm out of weight, guys. I'm here. This ain't like last episode. No, I'm good. I don't know, guys. It might go for another three and a half. I don't know. <laughs> Just go to the episode three, too. All in one video. Unlike me, you actually get to go to sleep every night. You should be full of energy by this point in the day. <sighs> Give me a break. Considering all that's happened this weekend, I think we can be forgiven for being a little tired. Well, that's certainly true enough. Group B had their fair share of problems to deal with as well. But they weren't quite as serious as yours. Although they were of a similar nature. Similar? What do you mean exactly? So somebody got arrested? Did they also wind up getting involved in a conflict between the two factions? More or less. St. Ark is another territory belonging to one of the four great houses, after all. Oh, so maybe Laura, maybe? So they got themselves caught up in a bit of trouble. The four of them managed to get through it together in the end, though. Well, that's good. <sighs> that's a relief, yeah. Sarah, just what kind of mirror did they pour into buffing up Aurochs Ford anyway? What we saw was nuts. So I've heard. And the Provincial Army isn't the only force trying to improve its armaments. The Imperial Army is doing the same, with the Blood and Iron Chancellor and his 20 armored divisions squarely at the center. Really? <clears throat> how should the Military Academy... How should we act in a situation like this? Thor's graduates join both the Provincial and Imperial Armies, right? That is true. That's nothing you need to be worrying about. Not right now, at least. You're at the Academy to learn. That's all you should be focusing on. Gotcha. While you're there, it's true that you may be forced to acknowledge some of the more unpleasant realities of Erebonia. But I believe there's something special to be gained from that. Something you can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as you're together with your friends and classmates. People for whom there is no substitute. Uh, uh. Maybe when you graduate and go out into the world, much of what you've learned at Thor's will have little meaning. But I still truly believe that sometime, somehow, what you experience as part of Class 7 will be an invaluable treasure to you. It may not seem that way now, but I know in my heart that it will someday. Instructor. <laughs> uh, 
You almost had me there for a moment. Yeah, she sounded like a real instructor, didn't she, guys? That was the last thing I ever thought I'd hear from you. Hey! What's with all the laughing? <laughs> I, I, I'm really sorry. You, your words were quite touching, but... Coming out of your mouth, they were just... Painfully droll. Something we can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as we're with our friends and classmates, for whom there is no substitute. <laughs> Stop that! Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> you kids are awful! I was being serious, you know! Why must this instructor thing be so difficult sometimes? <laughs> you a trip. They got back okay. So glad I didn't have to bust in and save them. <laughs> I thought it was all over when I got spotted at the fort, though. Hey, hey, White Rabbit here. Uh huh. Everything went a okay. Ah, uh, don't sweat the details. I did what I was supposed to. No sign of them, though. But I did find a bunch of other interesting stuff. What? Fake intel? Someone managed to get a leg up on you and Gramps? Must have been one heck of a guy. Huh? Me? I'm gonna go meet up with Claire now. Gotcha! See you then, Lecter! Hmm. I wonder what that military academy they mentioned is all about. <laughs> Sounds kind of fun! Lammy! Yep, yep. We're done here! Let's get going, Eric Gatlin. Drinks are on me someday. Someday. Could have done better than that. I know, Sarah. I know. I didn't do all that side quest shit. Sorry. Whatever. All right, guys. I was gonna wrap it up for episode three of Fame Plays. Trails of Cold Steel. We got Machias and Usus to make up, and we got a whole lot of stuff going on. The story is now getting a lot more heated. We're finding out a lot more stuff about the lore and all that. So, guys, I told you guys, this story is intense. It gets better, and guess what? We still got a long way to go. Lots of hours, lots of hours, okay? That's why we did a long extended episode. It's probably going to be another big episode tomorrow, too. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode of Fang Plays, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel, best story ever, ever freaking made. Take it easy.